so second stage is anger now if you encountered that thought or that feeling what is going to happen is hello everyone uh, today we'll be discussing about uh, the stages that means uh, you know if the person is having this uh, you know feeling or intention or instinct of uh, death so usually you know when the person is going encountering death or is going to die so uh, they, these are uh, stages of uh, you know the feelings which the person goes through that means the emotions that the person goes through while uh, encountering death so what happens is that uh, there are certain stages that these are the five stages of coping with death now <clears throat> these stages are given by or these stages are developed under the work of kubler ross that means whatever research has been done or whatever work has been conducted it has been done by kubler ross so the person came on to the conclusion that uh, if there is uh, this you know death uh, instincts that are coming so what are those stages that means how uh, or how can anyone cope with this stages uh, of death see the very first stage that comes is denial that means if the person has uh, got this instinct of death that means diagnosis of death is possible so according to kubler ross denial is that even though there is there is a diagnosis of death the person is still in the denial mode that means diagnosis of death is possible that means there are instincts there are intuitions that these diagnoses of uh, you know death is very much possible at a very early stage however people go in denial mode that's the reason why you know difficulty happens now when you have diagnosed death what is happening is that the second stage is anger so second stage is anger now if you encountered that thought or that feeling what is going to happen is that anger is going to be prominent why because uh, this has or this thought is leading to a emotion that means uh, you know if if you get this intuition that you are not scoring well in um, you know in your exams or in your class what is going to happen is that you can study more but what if you get this kind of instinct what well, what can be done so there is a feeling of helplessness and this feeling of helplessness uh, makes it more difficult to deal with so feeling of <coughs> helplessness now what is this feeling of helplessness feeling of helplessness that we are not able to do anything like uh, you know what can be done in this um, this is something which is inevitable so the anger issue increases that means there is so much of uh, you know, this high intensity of anger begins inside us why because we are not able to deal with it we are not we don't have a solution to it we don't know you know uh, how how to even manage this what is the solution to this so what happens is it grows even more and this leads to frustration etc and why is all this happening because of helplessness feeling that means it could not be changed or can anything be done next is your uh, bargaining stage now what is happening in bargaining stage now once you encounter what ki okay uh, oh my god that is there and um, you know uh, how what to do what can be done so the next stage is bargaining that means now what people do is that they bargain bargain with whom bargain with doctor or bargain with god and what is that bargaining all about the bargaining is all about that um, you know uh, somehow save me i will do this somehow uh, you know just uh, make this thing happen or uh, you know uh, just save me from here 
uh, I, I will definitely come to your place or I'll do this I'll definitely not do this for example you know if you have uh, seen that movie of three idiots you'll find that uh, there um, that actor was uh, talking about uh, that please please help me in passing the examination so that um, you know I could make through or sail through the exams and once if I'm able to sail through then I'll definitely um, you know give you this much of uh, all kind of uh, auspicious events that are going to happen so all kind of donation etc so th that is called bargaining that means uh, instead of uh, realizing it that certain thing is inevitable what we happen to do deal with it is that we start bargaining so that is the process of bargaining now the fourth one is that even if you find that nothing is going to work out or if uh, you know if this is not even working out what is going to happen is that the person slips into depression now why is this depression there because now the person is able to realize what now the person is able to realize he nothing can be done and when nothing can be done so there is a huge uh, you know setback in the memory and setback with respect to what in certain cases it is like uh, the parents have um, a lot of stress with respect to what I could not see my uh, children's getting married right so this creates uh, you know more of helplessness I could not see my or I could not see my grandchildren's fine then uh, you know these kind of thoughts are there and in case if the person is dealing issues in the office right in the personal life then so all this is mounting over the person the person is slowly slipping into depression why because uh, you know you you must have encountered all these kind of uh, thoughts or all these kind of communication in your homes also where uh, you know your especially the grandmothers or grandparents are uh, you know pu pushing you out that okay just get settled so that we can see you on if anything happens to us and what is going to happen uh, probably we'll not able to uh, see your life uh, you know happening uh, in front of us so this leads to depression now what is the solution what is the ultimate solution to all of this is acceptance why acceptance because uh, you know uh, once you realize what that this is inevitable that means uh, everyone has to go someday it has to come to an end you are not going to take anything from here so once this realization is there what happens is then the person accepts it what that uh, no matter what you cannot escape the nature so the one who has came in this world the one who has came in this world has to go away so once you accept this what happens is this uh, mounting of expectations these um, you know anxiety this feeling of helplessness anger depression all and this uh, thought of bargaining also all this uh, you know just goes away why because uh, um, no one knows when no one knows where no one knows how but uh, you know someday or other uh, the one who are here have to go away so this mere acceptance is the final stage uh, where the person is now relieved why because you cannot do anything about it however you know this uh, stages were criticized by uh, snidman now uh, they were of the opinion that not necessarily the person who is going to die or uh, you know the person is viewing death has to go through these five stages so they kind of have criticized uh, Kubler Ross uh, experiment or um, this work that not necessarily that all of to all of them have to go through these stages there are certain people who might uh, miss on certain stages then there are certain people um, you know things are going to get um, very sudden to them so there, there were certain studies which were conducted in US where the adults were not facing these uh, the, like all these stages or maybe they were facing the stages but not like this that means not the first one this not the uh, second one this maybe first one this maybe second one this maybe third one this so uh, the chronology and the sequence in which the thought process was occurring that was also cr uh, criticized by Snidman so what I mean to say is that uh, Cuba Ross 
stages of uh, this death and dying were this. However, it was criticized by many other psychologists uh, based on what? That not necessarily that everyone are going to face the same stages, not necessarily that the chronology of the stages are also going to be the same thing. However, whatever I have told you is just a briefing, um, but in classes there are uh, more descriptive uh, things with respect to each stages. Okay, thank you so much.